The Niger lizard, a Mesozoic cow of the Sahara. This is the Nigersaurus. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home about all things dinosaur and prehistoric. Listen, I just wanna talk about something real quick. Today's dinosaur has a name. Whatever you're thinking, don't, okay? It's just a name, stop. Thank you. We can begin the episode. All that being said, I want to welcome you guys to the Dinosaur Channel. You can support this channel by becoming a member and joining our channel. You'll also unlock cool icons and emojis that you can use when interacting with us on YouTube. And of course, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video because we're covering every single dinosaur and prehistoric creature in the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park franchise. That being said, let's jump into an episode all about control yourself. Stop. The Nigersaurus. So what does Nigersaurus mean? Well, the name means Niger lizard. It is in reference to the West African country where the fossils of this dinosaur were discovered. It was first described in 1976, but it was only named Nigersaurus Taketi in 1999. The species named Taketi honors French paleontologist Philippe Taket, who organized the first large scale paleontological expeditions to Niger. So where and when did Nigersaurus live? Well, this sauropod lived in what is now the Sahara Desert during the Middle Cretaceous period, about 115 to 150 105 million years ago. Remains thought to belong to the Nigersaurus were first discovered in the El Haraz formation during a 1965 to 1972 expedition to the Republic of Niger led by Philippe Taquet. And super quick side note, just as a fun fact, the original fossil skull of Nigersaurus is one of the first dinosaur skulls to be digitally reconstructed from CT scans. That's super cool, but side note, over. So what did this creature look like? Well, the Nigersaurus was a sauropod or long neck dinosaur. It was a quad quadruped with a small head, thick strong limbs, and a prominent tail, which was longer than its neck. It was a rather small sauropod as well, measuring only about 30 feet or 9 meters long and 8 feet to 2.5 meters tall at the hip, and it weighed around 4 tons comparable to a modern elephant. Now I know for most of you guys watching, a modern elephant is a pretty large animal, but considering the titanosaurs in the sauropod family that reached literally 80 feet, 90 feet, sometimes over 100 feet long, this was a pretty small sauropod. This creature had a delicate skull with large eyes placed further Further towards the top of the skull. Nigerosaurus skull also had some unusually thin cranial bones, some of which are virtually translucent. It also had an extremely wide mouth. So what makes this dinosaur unique is its unusually broad, straight-edged muzzle, tipped mouth with more than 500 slender little teeth. Within the jaw was a column of nine replacement teeth under each active tooth. These so-called dental batteries had a total of more than 500 active and replacement teeth, with 68 columns in upper jaws and 60 columns in the lower jaws. According to some estimates, each tooth wears out about after two weeks and a replacement tooth just shoves it out like a convoy or like a conveyor belt. So this animal's teeth were arranged in broad horizontal rows anchored onto the jaw which kept all of them at the very front of its snout. That makes the Nigerosaurus's mouth wider than the rest of its skull. Just imagine it's shaped like a muzzle of a vacuum cleaner with its two bony combs in the front. Now did the Nigerosaurus ever get famous? Well, no, it wasn't really as popular as its cousins Apatosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, although it did appear in the 2009 National Geographic documentary Bizarre Dinosaurs and when Crocs ate dinosaurs in the Jurassic universe the Nigerosaurus only appeared in the Jurassic World Evolution series. Jurassic World Evolution 1 introduced this dinosaur in DLC and then we got it again in the official release of Jurassic World Evolution 2 where it is depicted as one of the cutest little cutest little little, little baby little sauropods it's adorable. Okay now let's move on to this creature's diet and behavior. The Nigerosaurus was an herbivore or a plant eater Back then, Mesozoic West Africa was a floodplain with wide rivers, conifer forests, and lush vegetation. The Nigerosaurus lizard probably fed on giant club moss horsetails, ferns, and other low-lying plants. With its special shaped mouth, it was perfectly equipped for eating large amounts of vegetation as it walked along kind of like a lawnmower. It is believed that the Nigerosaurus head would have almost been constantly at the ground, hence the nickname the Mesozoic Cow. Many paleontologists believe that the Nigerosaurus teeth arrangement served much like a comb, filtering and removing mud and dirt from water plants. Some scientists believe that Nigerosaurus used its narrow teeth to cut vegetation and then just sucked its food in using a vacuum-like motion due to the fragility of 
of its jaw bones. We can say that this was not an aggressive animal, you know, it's probably pretty chill, just like a relaxed herbivore sauropod. And like most sauropods, it probably used its massive tail to defend itself against predators. What is interesting about this sauropod is the fact that because it was smaller, we don't really know if they used their size or that sort of power in numbers, that group dynamic to keep itself alive. Either way, the Nigrosaurus was a beautiful and amazing animal that existed in the Mesozoic area. And that is our episode on the Nigrosaurus. I wanna remind you guys to subscribe and turn those notifications and leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up so you don't miss a single dinosaur episode that we do in the future and also leave us a dinosaur prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in our next video also if you want to support this channel you can become a member on the channel it'll go a long way to supporting us and you'll unlock cool icons and emojis that you can use when interacting with the dinosaur channel and we'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye